Material science at the University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire consists of an outstanding academic program and a state-of-the-art facility for material science research. We involve our students in hands-on research with that instrumentation. They use it in classwork. They use it for the research. But the main goal really is to try to give them hands-on experience. We're a small undergraduate institution, uh, 10,000 students total, and yet we have this world-class facility as far as the instrumentation, and the students get to use it. So it's unusual for a place of this size to have the instrumentation we have. Currently I'm working on the scanning OJ Nano probe, looking at nanowires, specifically sil silicon carbide nanowires. What we're able to do with that machine is we're able to look at it with an SEM, a scanning electron microscope, and look at the surface characteristics as well as sputter down and look at the internal layers of the nanowires. I got into, into research as a sophomore. I'm working with silver and gold nanoparticles which is really exciting because you don't get to see that with the naked eye and you have to use really big machinery, really expensive machinery to top it all off to um, be able to see these things and know what their properties are. So I work on a transmission electron microscope, I work on an XPS, I've worked on the AFM. I know that if I would go to other undergraduate schools I wouldn't have the opportunity to work on such high-tech instruments such as the XRD or scanning OJ. We have a very good relationship with local industry, and we've done lots of different things with them. As part of the academic program, our students have the ability to work on real-world problems. So, for example, industry comes with a problem. Um, we have the students work on the project so they see what it's like to work in industry. Catalytic Combustion actually is a company that started in 1950 by developing one of the first air pollution control catalysts ever developed. And we've been around ever since doing the same thing. So we actually develop and manufacture air pollution control catalysts for a variety of industries. The university, we're able to take samples, basically a catalyst that have been used in the field, and come in and it's really been a valuable resource to be able to do chemical analysis. The people here are very quick in getting results back to us and that's pretty valuable, especially when we're dealing with customers that want to have answers quickly. It's hard to wait four to six weeks when we can get it back in a day here. We've been here several times, not just for SEM work, but for all kinds of mass spec work. And, and um, you know, when we get stuck, we can come here because, you know, they have all the fun tools. And, you know, we can just say, hey, we got this problem and let them help us. Working with industry really has helped us, too, because it helps our students, but it also has given us valuable feedback. They give us feedback on where our students have been strong, where they may need some more work. And so that will help make our overall program uh, more successful. We are a liberal arts institution and don't have an engineering program and uh, that makes uh, a material science major at an institution like UW-Eau Claire unusual. As a result of that, it's a very student-focused educational structure. Students spend a lot of time using high-end instrumentation. I think that prepares them well for their next step, whether that's going on in industry or going on to graduate school. There are lots of opportunities for research for our students. The University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire is designated by the state as a center of excellence for faculty-student collaboration. So this university expects students to do research. If we want functioning scientists after they graduate, they need to be doing while they're here. I got chosen for the Blue Gold Fellowship because of my grades from high school. And they set me up with a research uh, stipend to get paid for my work. And they allowed me to choose a professor that I wanted to work with on a project. The really cool thing about this is that at the end of these two years with my fellowship is that I could possibly be published, which is really, really cool. We're involved with outreach to local uh, K through 12 schools. We've done that in several different ways. We have a nano days that we run every March to April. Students that are learning material science are also involved in that outreach. I worked at the nano days, so a bunch of elementary school kids came uh, to the university out in the hallway and we had little booths set up. And the booth that I was working at was memory wire. And you could take this wire and you could bend it up into whatever shape you wanted. And then if you send an electrical current through it, the wire would spring back to its original shape. And the kids thought that was really cool. The real goal there is to get kids interested in science, to realize that there are a lot of opportunities in science, and in particular in material science. The University of Wisconsin-Eau Claire is a great place to learn about material science. We have outstanding facilities, we have outstanding faculty. In fact, they're really invested in the success of the students. 
And so you have that very personalized attention, but you also have access to state-of-the-art resources and that as an undergraduate, you get to use.